Hi, this is Kyle with Compare Computers, and I'm here with a quick tutorial and rundown of the new features of Windows 8. The start screen that you see before you is the window that you'll see when you first turn on your Windows 8 computer. Basically, the start screen is the replacement for the start menu, which was available in previous versions of Windows, such as Windows 7, Windows Vista, and Windows XP. The start screen utilizes the full screen to be able to, to display a number of large tiles with live streaming content. You can actually view quite a bit of information without actually having to open some of these apps. For instance, the news app will display different headlines, the stock app will display different stocks, and the weather app will display weather, as well as your mail app displaying different emails that are coming in. You can scroll to the right or the left to display different uh, shortcuts to different programs, and the icon here in the lower right hand corner, you can actually zoom out on the start screen to be able to view uh, other programs if you have a, a substantial number available. The other two primary components of Windows 8 would be the traditional Windows desktop, which is similar to Windows 7, and the Charms Bar. We'll go ahead and take a look at the Windows desktop first. We can go ahead and load the Windows desktop by clicking on the desktop icon. You can think of it as an app, just like any of these other apps. It won't be loaded, loaded unless you actually click on the desktop uh, tile here and, and go ahead and load that. When we do that, we'll see a traditional Windows desktop. The primary difference here will be, unlike Windows 7, there is no Start Menu button. To get to the Start screen, simply move your cursor to the lower left-hand corner, and you'll see a Start uh, Window icon there, and you can click on it, and it will load the Start screen again. To get to any recent apps that we had open, we can go to the upper left-hand corner of the screen, and we'll see the Desktop icon there. We'll go ahead and click on it, and that will take us back to the Desktop. And basically here you'll have icons for the desktop version of Internet Explorer, the desktop uh, Windows File Explorer or Windows Explorer. Basically that allows us to view different files and folders on the hard drive. We can go to the computer, see our C drive, go to users and see any of the folders that we normally have like your documents, music, pictures, and so on. The Windows 8 File Explorer actually utilizes the ribbon UI. It's minimized. When you click on File, uh, we'll actually see some different shortcuts here, and the ribbon you'll see with different items. Uh, this allows you to see a little more clearly some of the options than just a simple drop down menu, which was available in previous versions of Windows. And you can kind of go through those. The, the content of those will vary depending on what you currently have open. The next major component is going to be the, the charms bar. To get to the charms bar, basically you can move your mouse cursor to the upper right or the lower right corner of the screen, and that will bring it up along here. If you're on a touch screen, you can actually swipe in from the right edge of the screen towards the left, move it in that uh, action there, and that will go ahead and bring it up. On a touch device, to get to the start screen, you can actually bring up the charms bar and click the start button here and that will take you back to that. You can get to the Charms Bar on any app that you have open. It's going to be, uh, in many ways, the replacement for the Windows Start Menu button uh, that you're familiar with. Basically, the options here are going to be specific to each app that you have open uh, as far as the, the content underneath each of these buttons here. Uh, we'll go ahead and look at Search first. When we click on Search, this will allow us to search for any file, program, or setting that would match any of the search terms as we type, uh, we can narrow it down and filter it by a specific app. And uh, if you're in a particular app, you can also search within that app. So for instance, we'll go ahead and uh, start typing here. We can search for an app that matches WE, and of course we'll see weather. We'll go ahead and click on that to bring that app up. Now if we open up the charms and search, and uh, we can go ahead and search for a term here. We'll just search for Ellis. And it brings up the search results in the particular app that we have open that matches those search terms. So we can find uh, weather for in Ellis. Close out of that. To, uh, to close out of an app that you have open, we'll go ahead and go back to the desktop here. You can go to the upper left hand corner, and if you move your cursor down, you can see a list of any of the available apps that are running. 
you can right click on that and click close and that will close those apps out again on the charms bar the second option here is share basically the share option allows you to share content with another app or another person uh, for instance let's go to the start menu we'll open up the modern UI Internet Explorer which is a little different than the desktop version we'll get to that here shortly let's say we wanted to share this web page with a friend via email we've got this web page open we'll go and bring up the charms bar we'll click share we can choose to share this web page via email or via the people app or if you have other apps installed that would support the share feature those would show up in this list as well on the charms bar the devices charm actually will allow us to uh, connect to various hardware and uh, device peripherals. Uh, basically you can use this app to print within an app. Uh, you can use it to connect to an external display, to stream video to a device. Uh, if you have a, a TV that would support that feature. Uh, you can also use it to sync devices like your phone or tablet. So basically depending on the uh, app that you have open, some of the content here is going to change and also depending on the devices that you have connected. The settings charm is the uh, final option here in the charms uh, bar. Basically the, the uppermost settings here will change depending on which app you're in. These are going to be app specific settings. So for instance these uh, all here currently are going to relate to Internet Explorer since that's the app we currently have open. Down below we'll see some other options here as far as the uh, network, the audio settings. If you have a device which supports you uh, controlling the brightness on the display, you can adjust that from here. You can also see notifications. The keyboard, you can control the language and keyboard settings from here. And the middle item here is the power button, which basically if you click on it, will give you options to shut down the computer, to restart the system, or put it into sleep or hibernate mode. To change the modern UI settings and get to the modern UI control panel, you can click on the change PC settings down here. This will take you to the modern UI control panel to adjust those settings, such as your box screen uh, and some of your other components there. This will be different than the traditional desktop control panel. If we're on the desktop, when we pull up the settings charm, we'll see some of the desktop specific settings options, which this would bring up the traditional control panel and some of the other items that we're normally familiar with on a traditional Windows 7 desktop. On modern UI apps, there's several features here which, depending on if you're using a touch screen or a keyboard and mouse, will vary. To bring up the app commands, which are going to be options for each specific app, if you're on a touch screen, Basically, you can swipe down from the top, or you can swipe up from the bottom. If you're using a keyboard and mouse, you can right-click with your mouse, and this will bring up the app commands windows. On Internet Explorer, the app commands would be the address bar, the back and forward buttons, refresh. You can pin this site, which would pin it to the start screen. Uh, that way you can quickly get to this particular web page from the start screen and you can also, also access the page tools which would allow you to get an app for this specific site if uh, this website produced a, an app uh, you can actually install it from here you can do a, a search on this web page or you can view this particular web page using the desktop version of Internet Explorer when we bring up the app commands for Internet Explorer we'll also see the tab options here this will list any tabs that are available we can open a new tab by clicking the plus button. We can click the ellipses and view the tab tools, which will allow us to open a new in private tab, which would basically not track uh, user information, wouldn't save cookies, and uh, would be a private session. And if you have multiple tabs open, you can click the close tabs, and this would close all of the tabs that are open except the current tab that you have. Go ahead and click the plus and open a new tab. When we do that, you can see the frequent websites and you can also see uh, favorites that we've saved. Go ahead and open up the favorite. And now when we bring up the app commands, we'll see the two windows here. We can go ahead and close out of this one. 
and this would be the only tab that we didn't have available. As we start typing in the address bar, we'll filter our results and give us some, some suggestions as far as other websites that may match up with the uh, web uh, search that we're doing. On the start screen, to change the order of the icons here, we can click and drag an item. We can also right click, or to bring up uh, different options for that particular app, you can swipe through it on a touch screen, and then swipe down or swipe up to bring up the options here. Basically, these options would allow us to increase or decrease the size of the tile, turn on or off the live tile features, we can also uninstall, and uh, there's several other options here available as well. This concludes the basic tutorial on Windows 8. If you have other questions or would like to, to view some more information on other apps, take a look at some of our other videos, or you can go to our website at www.comparecomputers.net or give us a call. Thanks!